CapeCast. Howdy folks, I'm Eric Williams and welcome to CapeCast, the official webcast of the Cape Cod Times. We're at the MSPCA Animal Adoption Center in Centerville and it's time for a Kino update. Kino, as you recall, a Siberian Husky that needed some help. We came here last week and found out what was going on and it looks like some good things may have happened. Julie, bring us up to date on the Kino situation. Yes, the Kino situation has taken off more than we ever expected it to. Um, people are just coming out of every possible um, scenario to help us out. We've raised over $3,000 right now for her treatments. We've had veterinarians step forward, often graciously to help out pro bono. We have more foster homes than we possibly could ever need for her. We are looking, however, for a very special foster home. She needs to go into a home with no children and no other dogs to be kept quiet while she recovers from her heartworm. And once that is done, she will go for her surgery on her bladder. Hey, Kino, congratulations! I was chasing her. Woo! All right! Hey, Julie, if you could just sort of sketch out where some of these uh, lovely sort of donations have come from and more about the reaction from folks. Yeah, we were amazed. We've been taking calls from Hawaii. We've been taking calls from New York, New Jersey. Um, somehow the story got out to everyone who has some sort of connection to the Cape, and people were just calling in their credit cards for, you know, some people, I know two folks donated $1,000. They just called with their credit card number and each gave $1,000. And what does that speak to about the way people feel when they see an animal in trouble? I think it just, you know, it just reassures us that people still care, even though, again, with the economy, people, people who are dropping off their pets because they can't care for them properly and they entrust them to us, we have other folks that are willing to step forward and help these animals out for us. In fact, CapeCast learned of a do-gooding duo at Uno in Hyannis. Bartenders Allison Currid and Becky Ransom went the extra mile for Kino. Hi, I'm Allison Currid, and I saw the video of Kino on the Cape Cod Online website. And once I saw the video, I was on a mission. Mission, I thought about all the ways that I could raise this money, talk to a few people, and immediately I made flyers for Kino. I took her picture off the website and made up a flyer and talked to the, my partner in crime that I work with on Thursday and Friday, and she was more than willing to go ahead and donate all the tips we made for Thursday and Friday. We actually raised over $760. And all the customers that came in to see us, we let everybody know, and a lot of them watched it on the website. I feel very happy and excited. Uh, I'm a dog lover, and anything I can do to help. You can't save every dog, but everybody was living the tough times right now, and everybody is willing to help. She's beautiful and it's an amazing feeling knowing what I did. But because of the money that has come in and the good people that have stepped forward, Kino's life will be, you know, as it should be, she'll live a long, healthy life. KPS. And so, of course, Kino's situation is great, but you guys could use help every day, money every day, folks coming in the door to give you money, help, whatever you can get in here. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have our Guardian Angel Fund, which was designed specifically to help animals that come through. Every animal that comes in here is not always healthy. And so that money, that fund was set up specifically for those animals to help them so that we can place them in forever homes. And that's why, you know, even though the, you know, we've raised a considerable amount of money for Kino, the money still is needed for other animals that will come through the door today, tomorrow, next week.